hate crime there, violence here, and natural disaster happening over there? Or what about the false news we believe about ourselves that says we are sinners, to use the old word, that we are evil in the imagination of our hearts? And when we look in the mirror, we, saw, we see all the lies we, we tell ourselves. Chicken, coward, phony, slob, bad news. Then, the good news. God in Christ offers to us. We are loved, cherished, forgiven, struggling, yes, but not alone. This is what is so extraordinary about the gospel. We may have lived a scandalous life, yet somehow we come out new. For those of us who have eyes to see, we see this in the headlines often. Zacchaeus, crook, now a saint. Paul, hatchet man, now fool for Christ. All of us carry around baggage, things which bring us down, things which are heavy and burdensome, and things linger, that death, that affair, that binge, that depression, and the list goes on, and too often, all the bad news drowns out the good news, which is, after all, with God, all things possible. And this news, this news is that we are loved. News that comes to us in the baptism of Jesus. News Who's, news that comes to us in our own baptism. And in that baptism of Christ, he was catapulted into his public ministry. And in that moment, Jesus hears the voice laying claim of his belovedness and reminds us of his identity as God's own child in whose death and resurrection we become heirs of the promise of the good news. Mark started with an unlikely suspect. John in the wilderness, who told of good news while shattering our comfortable piety and cracking open our capsule truths, and who calls us to turn around and acknowledge God's love. Friends, the annual recurrence of the liturgical seasons of Advent, Christmas, and Epiphany invites us to begin expecting not only some far-off event, but to expect the one who came into Galilee preaching a kingdom of good news, which is near at hand. And may he come to baptize us with the Holy Spirit this new year, soon, now. It was in Christ's baptism God's faithfulness was signified and God's love made known and have made available for us living water. Whether it happens early in life or later on, good news comes to us in those waters, Water, like that which dripped over Christ's head. Water pouring out God's grace. Water flowing with God's faithfulness. And water bringing to us a newness of life. Good news has come to us. And in turn, we become good news for the world. St. Francis of Assisi once said, It is no use walking anywhere to preach unless our walking is our preaching. And perhaps Gandhi had this in mind when he said, be the change you wish to see in the world. The good news is that we are included in God's grace and love, but the good news does not stop only with us as individuals. Indeed, it pours over onto all of us, uniting us in Christ. And through the saving waters of baptism, we see no barriers of race, gender, status, or age, but we transcend that. We are sealed in God's love. So then, friends, may we in our baptismal identities find the good news in our lives and cling to it. In the midst of chaos, may we look for the news coming to us in a form of a small break, some much-needed rest, and an unexpected sense of peace. In our attempts to filter out bad news, let us remember good news has come, that good news is here, and we can be sure that good news will come to us again. 
May we join with the hopes of the prophets and bring justice and peace to those who know nothing of them. And as we reprioritize our lives and as we set course down the Jesus way, may we demonstrate good news by ways of radical hospitality, extravagant generosity, and great expectations for the kingdom that is at hand. Then with all of who we are, it's exactly as we are. May we continue the good news that is the love of God through Jesus Christ and with the power of the Holy Spirit. And in this season of the epiphany and the baptism of the Lord, may our lives begin with the very greeting Professor Farnsworth starts every episode out with. Good news, everyone. And may our lives be the continuation of the good news of Jesus Christ for the world. May it be so.